Good morning, my little passengers, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Z, and you guys are riding the Z train. Today, we're gonna be making five healthy snacks, and especially if you have a sweet tooth, this is gonna be the video for you. I've only tried one of them before, so it should be interesting, and hopefully I don't mess up, so stay tuned. But I am going to start off making some carrot chips, and I know it sounds a little weird, but we're gonna find out if it's good because I've actually never tried this before. So first thing you wanna do is preheat the oven to 350, so let's do that. Next, you wanna get two big carrots. Okay, so you're gonna peel them off, well, you're gonna cut off the ends first, and then we're gonna peel them off. Okay, next you wanna peel them very thin. You have one of those like, Graters, that's what you can use, but I'm gonna make the best attempt with a knife. That was a lot harder than I thought. I don't think they are the thinnest that they could be, but hopefully I didn't mess up this recipe already. So I am going to put this in a bowl and then we'll go from there. I'm gonna cover up the carrots with some olive oil and I've already placed some in there. So they should be covered. And don't put too much, don't put too little. There we go. The next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to add some seasoning. So I like things a little spicy, but to keep it basic first, we're gonna add some salt. And then some pepper. And then some paprika. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and mix that up. So, cover. You can add cinnamon, um, whatever flavors you like, whatever seasonings you like, you can do that. So we're gonna spread them out on a parchment paper. Now it's time to put them in the oven. Okay, now that that's in the oven, that is going to sit in there for about 12 to 18 minutes and then we're gonna flip them. Now we are going to make some pan fried bananas and all you need for this is a banana and some cinnamon. cinnamon and I'm also gonna add a little pumpkin spice. So we're gonna spray our pan and then add the cinnamon and pumpkin pie. Okay, so we're gonna cook this on a low heat and then for two to three minutes and then we're gonna flip them and then put some more cinnamon and pumpkin spice on the other side. Now it's time to take the bananas off the pan and put them on a plate. This is the final product and you can put like yogurt or maple syrup, whatever you want with it, but I'm going to try it, so cheers. It's very sweet. It almost tastes like um like a plantain, but not really. Hmm. That's good. I'll put the macros on the screen so you can try it out and also, if you do, let me know in the comments. But I'm gonna let it chill, save it for later. So moving on to the quick and easy, no heat needed, so that means no stove or oven. But we are gonna need the freezer. So I'm gonna start off with some yogurt bark. And I'm sure you guys seen this like on Pinterest or TikTok, but I've never done it personally myself. So let's get into it. All you need for this is some plain yogurt. I have these four vanilla ones that I'm gonna be using. And then some berries of your choice or any fruit of your choice, honestly. You could put chocolate chips if you want and granola. I'm gonna use it all and some peanut butter. your yogurt out on a parchment paper and then you can add your toppings you can make it as pretty as you want as artistic as you want just get creative and have fun with it I'm trying to get it in the freezer and I messed it up so okay okay so we'll just let that uh, sit in the freezer for about 
12 to 15 minutes and hope that it still looks pretty when it comes out. <laughs> Just realized that I didn't put granola on that. It's fine. Whatever, we're going with it. Okay, the next one we are gonna do is apple cookies. And I have not done this one either. I hope I don't mess it up, but wish me luck. Okay, so apple cookies, all you need is a nice juicy apple, some peanut butter, granola, chocolate chips, maybe some sprinkles if you wanna add some. But let's do that. Wash your apple first. Now that they're all cut up, you want to get a little bit of peanut butter and spread it on the top. And you can do what you desire, like how much peanut butter you want. It's like hard to get it to stick. We're working on it. Okay, toppings. So we have some granola. And some chocolate chips. Bloop. And for special effects, we have some pink sugar. Just a little. And then we taste it. Almost tastes like a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to make the rest of these, so enjoy this time lapse. Okay, so this is the final product. Macros will be on the side. And if you're allergic to peanut butter, you can just melt some chocolate and have that be your base. And yeah, I'm pretty sure it will turn out just as good, if not better. So that means, Joe, if Kate tries to do this, don't go home. But anyways, so now I am gonna check on the carrot chips. Hopefully they're not burnt. Guys. I burnt them. I'm just gonna show you a picture of what it was supposed to look like and how mine look like. <laughs> but we gotta try them, right? <laughs> okay, so this one's the best looking one. So we're gonna try this <laughs> and um, yeah. It has a crunch. <laughs> I gotta say, even though you can taste the burnt part, it wasn't that bad. I'm pretty sure if I didn't burn them, they turn out pretty good. So if you try these out at home, let me know that you did better than me. I have one more healthy recipe to do, and this one I have done before, so I'm not gonna mess this up. <laughs> For the last one, by the way, the yogurt bark is still in the freezer, so we're still letting that freeze. But we are doing banana bites, and with this, you just need a banana, peanut butter, and some chocolate. And you wanna melt the chocolate. Okay, so here you want to get a banana, cut it up into like a quarter of an inch pieces, and then put two of those pieces, stick them together with some peanut butter, and then spread them out on a parchment paper. We're gonna let this freeze for about five minutes in the freezer so it can set, and then we're gonna add the chocolate. And now, we just wait. Here's the what they 
they look like right now. Now it's time for chocolate. I've already melted two servings of the dark chocolate chips. If I need more, I'll melt it, but we'll see how far this takes us. Also, you can get fun toothpicks. We've got some swords. Oh, and that's what we're gonna use to dip in. So it's gonna get a little messy here, but you want to cover like half of the side, or you could do the full side, whatever you desire, with the chocolate, and then you're gonna pin them down. Looks like we're gonna need some more chocolate. I think because it's frozen, it's already freezing onto the banana. So we're gonna put another serving of chocolate chips and do the rest of these. on the banana we're gonna put them back in the freezer for another five minutes so now these are outside of the freezer and it's time to try them also if you want to just save them from for a later date you can put them in a bowl and put them in the freezer or put them on a plate put them in the freezer they'll still be delicious so this one is calling my name. <laughs> Macros will be on the side, but they are delicious. Try them out. Buenissimo. So good. Okay, it's about three hours later, and I didn't know it was going to take that long for the yogurt bark to kind of freeze. I think it's because I used a lot of yogurt, but it's finally done. It doesn't look that appealing right now, and that's because when I was trying to put it in the freezer, I had a little bit of a mistake, but we're going to cut it up. Now... Finally, time to try it. This is a little piece, but it looks so cute. Has a little bit of everything in there. Kind of a little sour. Um, it reminds me of like frozen yogurt. And that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more of these, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. If you tried anything out, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Also, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and that push notifications button so that you don't miss a thing because there will be another video next week and you don't want to miss it. I'll see you guys in the next video and until then, bye!